All right, so it's Wednesday. That means, you know, comic book stuff. Anyways, um, didn't get exactly everything I wanted to get this week, but yeah, whatever. Um, comic news cover. Actually, that's the back of it. <laughs> that's not the cover. Is it the cover? It might be the cover. It's the numbers. No, that's the cover. Okay, well, it looks awesome. I will say that, but really didn't go through it. Um, just talks a little bit about Forever Evil. Apparently there's a Samurai Jack comic book. I did not know that. That that would be interesting. Uh, Infinity Part 3 cover. If you're interested in that. And, of course, X-Men Battle of the Atom. Can't wait for that next week. It'll be awesome. But, anyways. Um, so, I did get Scarlet Spider issue 21, like I said. I would like two weeks ago or something like that because I wanted to see what was going on with Ben Riley, and I'm not gonna say it was good it wasn't bad it was all right for what it was but once you realize or once you get to the end of it and see what's going on it's not you know as awesome as it could have been but you know, you know what it, it was all right it's mostly just Kane going through shit and thinking he's going crazy but not really going crazy because of things and seeing as I don't know any of the other characters in the series um I just, I, I guess I, you know what if I read it from the beginning I probably would care more for it like I said it wasn't bad it was alright um it was still cool to see uh the other Scarlet Spider but it, it wasn't like a, as big as a thing as I was hoping it would be anyways Moving on to Avengers Arena, which was slightly a filler issue, but slightly not a filler issue. They go through the origin of one of the other kids on the island. I don't remember his name. I don't know. If it's, it's, I don't know. Cody doesn't sound right to me, but he had a name. They go through it. It was an all right issue. Um, still, you know, you don't want to miss an issue with this because, whoops, that series is just really good. And it's getting close to ending, I believe. Um, the main stuff that happened here was X-23, basically they smoke... Well, first, people get split up. So, everybody's split up into threes now. Not like there's three, three, and three, but there's like three different groups again. Because I guess they all got separated from each other at some point. And, um, when X-23 finally reaches Hazmat, uh there's this moment where there's like all this gas and stuff and so she basically goes crazy like she did a few issues ago and well we all know how that goes so that that was pretty much a cliffhanger ending for that one but it was still all right this so many words um kind of goes through the origin of the guy we saw in the like the ending of the last issue you know the, the guy with the hat and the little suit and stuff uh, it's uh, so it goes through that first then you know goes into like this giant superhero brawl for everybody who's trying to go for the box Batman being one of the only ones who's still more or less sane same thing with Constantine Sathana finally loses it um they all go through that and I believe they end up dropping the box at some point and they finally explain everything uh and you know what I'm not gonna spoil it right now but I really want to talk about it, so I'm going to make a separate thing for Trinity War where I will spoil it, and I will write spoiler warning in the title and whatever because it was just that good. <laughs> um, but definitely if you're reading it, Trinity War, it is freaking awesome. It leads off to Villain Month, and that's going to be awesome too, I guess. Uh, well, at least I hope so. Captain America, Escape from Dimension Z. Again, a really good issue. Definitely did not expect, like, the ending. But if you've been reading Marvel, you know, you know he escapes. Uh, now, everything that happens right before he escapes, that's what I'm not going to talk about. But yes, he does finally escape. It is only a little while later. Um, it's just, it's a good series. Like I said, read Captain America. I'm not, I I will get the next issue of Captain America. Just to see how it is. 
but I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting Captain America just because it'd be cheaper to drop it. I'll drop that and Thor, even though I don't want to drop Thor either. But I actually didn't get the issue that came out today. Um, I might get it on the weekend, who knows, but I might drop those two just, just because of money. Anyways, New Avengers. Again, a really good issue. Um, the invasion has actually finally started. So Thanos is invading Earth. It goes through, I guess, kind of what happened in the, I believe it was the first issue of Infinity, or maybe it was something else. I don't know. I think it was the first issue in uh, Infinity. When that monster is going inside uh, Black Bolt's head looking for information. Well, we finally see what that information is, and Thanos, basically, he wants the final infinity gem that's left because the other ones were destroyed but only one of them I guess wasn't it just vanished and so Thanos is looking for that that's why he's attacking he's going through all the uh, members oh man I, I can't pronounce the name but you know the members of the new Avengers uh, Black Panther Namor um, Iron Man Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolts, Doctor Strange, basically all of them are the focuses of the attacks. Um, it's definitely a good issue, I definitely like it. I mean the series has been good, like, by itself, and as a tie-in, it is a good tie-in. It does show kind of like, oh Wolverine, he's the other member, right? Right? Either way, it shows what's going on with the X-Men. I'm pretty sure he's a member. I could be wrong. But it shows what's going on there, so that's cool because the X-Men are the only ones not getting a tie-in because of, uh... Well, they're not the only one, but they're not getting a tie-in because of Battle of the Atom. But you can see, you know, what happens there because Jean Grey Academy does get attacked as well as a few other places. And like I said, it's just really good. I like it. It finally went to the Invasion of Earth, which is the part that I'm more excited about than, you know, the Avengers fighting a war in space. Now these last two issues I have not read at all yet. I will read them later today probably. But uh, Uncanny Avengers number 11. I don't even remember what the uh, subtitle, you know, the description for the issue is. But it is, it is there and it looks, I don't know, the series is good. Uh, like I said, I liked it better when it was focusing on uh, Red Skull and all that, you know, Xavier's thing, and once it gets back to that, I'm hoping he gets back to that, it'll be good. I'm not saying this is bad, but I'm not as entertained by it as, I guess, other people. I mean, it's good, but we'll see how this issue is later. Um, and Uncanny X-Men, which, it's the last issue right before Battle of the Atom. Uh, I guess they're trying to find out why... Wolverine school the people there are still training. I don't know. That's from what I read on the Description either way. I still really like uncanny x-men. My only problem with it is the art uh, Like the drawing is sometimes all right sometimes not but I just don't like the painting Because it's like like you see their heads like it'll be like an entire panel of red and blue and or I don't like that I'm just not a fan of that It's not my style. I'm sure there's plenty of people who like it and it's not bad, it's just not something I enjoy. But I'm still getting the series because I really like uh, Uncanny X-Men. I really like Scott. And uh, that that's big. That's like the good enough reason for me to get it. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And, you know, subscribe and all that stuff. And I will see you next week.